the number one major flaw in communication is that of escalation. So let me give an example of escalation. So a wife, let's say she was off work one day or she stays at home and she decided, you know what, I want to clean the kitchen floor. That's just, maybe that's something she wanted to do. You know, some wives enjoy that. Some wives may not. Some husbands may. But anyway, in this illustration, the wife just cleaned up the kitchen floor and it looks, I mean, brand spanking new. And the husband comes in with his work boots on and he forgot to take his shoes off or and he, tra he trails mud on that freshly cleaned floor. And the wife looks at the husband and says something like this. Oh, honey maybe not that nice, but anyway, honey, sweetheart, jerk, whatever, you know, I just cleaned the floor and you just tracked mud all over the floor. And the wife, I mean, excuse me, the husband has the opportunity to say, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Um, I'll clean it up or I'll help you clean it up. And the husband can do the right thing. Or the husband can choose to escalate and say something like this. Well, two weeks ago, you and the kids borrowed my truck and you went to a fast food restaurant. And when you did that and you, you had biscuits crumbled all over the floor and it's still chicken nuggets are still under my seats. Well, you did it and it, and it escalates. Yep. So that's the first major flaw of, of communication is escalation. But number two is one of my favorites and that is misinterpretation. So a lot of times, ladies, and this is not sexist, this is reality. This God created man and woman different, okay? But women probably struggle with what I'm about to say more than men do. Yep. And I'm going to get to men on point number three. So just buckle your seatbelts. Misinterpretation is ladies and, and men, but when we hear something and we put an ugly spin on it. In other words, we assign a motive to what our spouse is saying. So let me illustrate this. My wife makes a pot of taco soup. I love taco soup. So she makes a pot of chili or a pot of taco soup or whatever. And we're sitting at the kitchen table and I take a bite of the chili or the soup. And she looks at me and she says, how do you like the soup? And I say, well, it's, it's honestly, it's wonderful. I like things a little bit more spicier perhaps, but the soup is great. So you don't like my soup. No, I, I do like the soup. I, I do like it. No, you don't. Austin, you don't like the chili or soup. You don't like how I cook. You don't like how I fold the towels. You don't like how I do my hair. You don't like how I parent the kids. So a lot of times if we're not careful, we misinterpret and we put an ugly spin on what we're hearing and we're assuming and assigning a motive to that and then things escalate. So that's number two. Uh, second major fall of communication is misinterpretation. Thirdly, is invalidation. And men, sometimes men, we can be terrible at this, invalidation or negation. What happens is in this instance is we put our wives up on the witness stand and we prosecute them. In other words, when we're in an argument, we purposely, we're not listening to hear them out. We're not listening with an empathetic ear. We are listening to find the flaw in their argument. And as soon as we find that flaw, we pounce on it. We pounce on that flaw and we make them feel dumb if we're not careful about their argument. We call that invalidation or negation. Um, for instance, a husband wants to take the family camping and the wife is not a huge camper person. She would rather stay in a hotel. Maybe she likes the safety or security of a hotel more, the amenities of a hotel. Maybe she just is not the camping type. And the husband says, well, we're going to go camping anyway. And, and, and the wife says, well, I, I really would rather not. And then the husband says, well, have you researched how much that hotel is going to cost? Have you done your research on this? You know, using the financial argument, you know, camping can be cheaper than hotel room. And, and, and just kind of finding the flaw and just expounding on that. We got to be careful, men, at listening to our wives and working together with coming up with a common sense solution together to communicate helpfully and in a proper way. But lastly, and this will be the shortest one, but if we have a lot of escalation and misinterpretation and invalidation in our communication, it's going to lead to the most dangerous flaw of communication, and that is withdrawal or abandonment. That is when we start to detach from each other. That is when we start saying, well, there's no use. That is when we start saying, 
you're always going to win. That is when we start withdrawing from each other, shutting down on each other. And my friends who are listening, that is when, if we're not careful, we can really be in some mm-hmm. dangerous marital territory. Mm-hmm.